The Small Business Administration is running a drive-through for fraudsters using COVID-19 assistance programs. And I'll give you a couple examples. More than $3 million was given to a convicted fraudster to pay for guns, bling, and luxury vehicles. Another example, a felon received $400,000 to pay for a car, a boat, a vacation, and tickets to sporting events. The SBA has handed out more than $200 billion, billion with a B, folks, in suspected fraudulent pandemic recovery grants and loans to 4.5 million scammers. The restaurant revitalization, revitalization, if we can all say it together, the <laughs> restaurant revitalization fund dished out dollars to thousands of fraudsters while leaving nearly 2,000 struggling restaurants in Iowa with their handout. Biden is looking the other direction on allowing billions of dollars that fraudsters were allowed to rip off taxpayers to go uncollected. I'm requiring the SBA to collect all of the COVID cash owed our taxpayers and extending and expanding the jurisdiction of the Special Inspector General to find more fraud. Folks, $200 billion has gone out to fraudsters. We need to do something about this. Bring that money back in so that our taxpayers don't have to foot the bill.